this video I will show you how to install Python. Um, we go to python.org, then we select download, and then we see here release version all releases. We go, so you could install here, you use this button to download it, but then you get a 32 bit version. I prefer the 64 bit, so I go to the folder where the downloads are, scroll down on the files, and then here it says x86 64 executable installer that's the one i want so i download that one 30 megabyte only and i run it and this is important we need to tick the add python 3.6 to the path so install now we see now see 64 bit pip is uh, already included nowadays in the standard python installation and that's the package installer for python and if we run that we can add extra modules so right now we should have python already and uh, we often we prefer to use idle then 64 bits that's the one we want um, copy and then we paste it onto the desktop paste and if we uh, then select the right mouse button, so if we now would start it, we already have Python running. And we can open the shell. But if we now save the file, it will save files in our Python folder, which is not what we want. So we want to run this in a different location. Properties, and then start this in, and my directory is data. But this could be my documents, Python scripts, or something, Python, data, Python projects. Um, day data, Python projects. Make sure that the folder exists. What did I do wrong? Projects, oh, it's with an S. Okay. And now, if I select this idle, it will save my files in, in the project directory. And I avoid the risk of overwriting my Python installation. But I only have basic Python right now with the editor, with idle. Um, but I don't have the packages yet. And therefore, we're going to use pip. And in Windows, the easiest way to do that is go to the command prompt. So search for your command prompt if it's not in your shortlist. And then run and as administrator. Yes, that is safe. And now we can use pip to install other packages like numpy, scipy, matplot lib and pyname to begin with then uh, by using pip pip will know which version you have and will automatically select python 3.6.5 and the 64 bits it will always download the correct version of your module and also if there are any dependencies it will also download those for instance matplotlib i think there are some dependencies there no apparently not pygame Oh yeah, there are some dependencies, and that's so. Those are the libraries that which are needed by those modules that you install, and those are also installed. We see here the ones that are installed. It's now installing it. So these are the main modules that we will use. Then for scientific, we ignore this because the last time I did the upgrade, this is the reason I'm now reinstalling Python. So pip install spider. Yeah, it should be that one. And that's a scientific uh, Python editor, so for scientific computation. Has a lot of dependencies apparently. In fact, any module, if you ever uh, receive a script and you run it and it says, I'm missing module this or that, you simply type the same 
name in this window command prompt run as admin and type pip install and then the name of the module and it will collect the module and install it a bit like the the linux uh, packet manager it looks as if jupyter is also installed The only other thing that I also like is uh, PyCharm, an editor. And if we search for PyCharm, we download PyCharm, then you see there are two uh, editions. You can do a free trial of professional. We're not going to do that. We're going to download the open source community one. And if you see that, then you see that you can enter your email address, but you don't need to. And then PyCharm will be downloaded. I already downloaded it so I can ignore it for now. And PyCharm is uh, simply an installer and it's another editor, which is uh, one that I really like. But by default, for simple scripts, we will use idle. And idle has a shell here in which you can s type statements and try them or you can uh, get help on statements but uh, mostly we will use it to uh, if you select a new file you get a separate window to edit scripts and here we see the scripts it's still untitled but here we can then type print hello world and we run this it must be saved okay temporary Live already exists, replace it, yes. And then anything we type here will be run here. There are some options we might want to set to configure idle. One is that um, in the general ones, that we at the start of the run we don't want the prompt only when it's not saved yet, but it's already selected here. And help numpy, can, you, you can add additional helps, but apparently it has found my previous settings and it's already in there. And this has run. Is there anything else? Jupyter is also nice. Let's see if it also run. Collecting Jupyter, but it's probably already there. No, it still needs to install something. But so this is how you install, and, and you can, it's an unlimited number of packages. You can simply install with pip. Already satisfied. It says when it's already installed, it will tell you. And that's it. Now I have Python installed.